Standing at the foot of the Rockies, sometimes it feels like you can just about reach up and touch the moon. While these Highlands Ranch High School students won't do that this morning. Space is 63 miles, it's the edge of space. We're gonna get to about 20 miles today, so a third of the way to space. They are preparing for a mission that will go higher than most humans ever venture. We're launching a weather balloon. Yeah. Very few people have been up at that elevation. You know, few pilots and, and spy aircraft and of course, astronauts. Most of what we do as humans is in, in the first nine miles of the atmosphere, the troposphere. So, and here we are kind of getting a piece of the stratosphere, which is really cool. The balloon is fitted with all kinds of gadgets. We're making sure the GPS works first. And gizmos, giving the students a chance to become real scientists. Is that, is that the right button right there? Yeah, hold it down. We're taking technology that's available to them right now and we're giving it, we're putting it in the hands of the students. So we're doing real meteorological science. So it's like holding like a 30 pound dumbbell above my head. <laughs> I mean, we could send our data into the National Weather Service and it would be used as valuable data. It's not an opportunity most high school or even college students get. It's really cool to be able to do something that not a lot of schools across the United States are doing. The fact that I get to do this in high school is phenomenal. The main reason I took this course was because that's what I'm planning on going into college for. So the fact that I actually get to do this before I go into college is actually really amazing. Good there. So after some preparations. So go ahead, go ahead. Three, two, one. They carefully send off their near space shuttle. Where'd the main homie go? There it is. It's right there. It's way up there now. Yeah. You can kind of see it right there. Yeah. It's just going to keep on getting smaller and smaller. This so, is so sweet. It's, go, it's going the way we predicted it, which is awesome. The entire experience is authentic learning. You got the, the critical thinking, the creativity. Um, you see them communicating. I mean, it, yeah, you got them all right here. Just like NASA's mission control, the team gathers to monitor the flight status. Having students experience science, it allows them to, to understand it and get another grasp. For myself, I'm really big into getting students out in the field. As time passes, without word, they anxiously await. If we're not getting transmissions now, we're probably in radio blackout. Finally, a blip. All right, it dips out. After a two hour flight, yeah. just outside of Parker, their craft touches down. Hey, Woo, this is exciting! Rock and roll! Yes! Science! Yes. Science! The team coordinates a rescue effort, venturing into Albert County and eventually on a mile-long hike into the field where the mission ended. And before they head home, they're already digging into the data collected, excited to learn. Woo! Their balloon reached a new school record of 19.4 miles. Getting 100,000 feet into the air, into the, into the uh, stratosphere, that's like, that's like a mind-blowing analogy for a high school class. The most astounding figure, however, isn't the altitude. 100,000 feet. That's ridiculous. Come on, bring it in. Right. The real feat is that the experiment has gotten more than 20 kids completely engaged in science. One, two, three, stratosphere!